I'm David Pogue, and I've got a problem. See, this week I reviewed a very technical subject. It's, uh, well, it's an alternative DNS resolution service. It's so technical, in fact, that my producers told me it was essentially unfilmable. They told me that no general TV audience would sit still for something so geeky. But I've got a few ideas. Okay, guys, help me out here. Now, you might think a web address looks like this. But that's just a fake out. The website's real address looks like this. So behind the scenes, the internet service provider has to take the human address and convert it to the real address, which is known as the domain name system. Well, OpenDNS is a free service that replaces your internet provider's DNS computers with better, faster, more reliable ones. It makes websites load a little faster. It blocks phony phishing sites that try to steal your name and password. It lets you set up shortcuts for your favorite sites. Like I can set up NYT so it'll type out this much longer address to save time. It even corrects typos in the web address suffix, like this. And don't forget about parental controls. You can block 57 different categories of websites. And all of it's free. Setting it up takes about two minutes. They give you illustrated instructions for each router model. All you do is type two DNS addresses into the right boxes. After that, every computer in the house is automatically protected. So if OpenDNS is free, how do they make money? Whenever you type a completely wrong web address, you get this Did You Mean screen, featuring paid ads from Yahoo. OpenDNS is one of the web's best kept secrets. Even if you use only a couple of its features, you should try it. So there you have it. My attempt to make DNS servers entertaining enough for the masses. Thank you so much, guys. Really appreciate your help. Great job. I'll see you back here next week. We're doing 64-bit TCP IP environments. Same time. Good job, guys. Come on, Gigi.